As you know, 60% uh, of the population of Haiti is rural, and uh, Haiti is uh, one of the countries in Latin America and the Caribbean that deeply depends on agriculture production. 25% of the GDP of Haiti comes from agriculture. Also, agriculture is the main source of employment in a country that has one of the highest unemployment rates, especially from young. So uh, we are delighted to uh, receive the president. We have been discussing many opportunities to improve our cooperation, especially after the last uh, uh, cyclone uh, Sunday that uh, affected uh, the region in a successive event. We have seen year after year it repeats again in Haiti. It's a good example of how climate change has improved these, uh, uh, let's say, stream events that affect uh, human beings and subsistence in tropical areas. We took this opportunity to visit FAO to particularly thank them for the great work that they've been doing in Haiti. Great work. This is a success story. I want to take this opportunity to tell you that thanks to this great work, things are changing in Haiti. There's a lot to be done, but things are changing. This should be the main, the focus of my message. And we can change things, and we need to do things who will change the situation forever. And on that aspect, I have asked my Minister of Agriculture to draw a plan, and this plan is to be evaluated, not just by the IDB, but the director has also invited me to provide this plan so that we can all evaluate it and make sure that we invest in a manner where Haiti really becomes a less vulnerable. This government is a government who wants to change things in Haiti. That's why we have invested in education. We are moving the people out of the tents. We are working at building, we are actually building new homes for the Haitian people. And being able to combat uh, la famine, hunger, uh, would be great if we did succeed. And by intervening in this sector, we will also fight migration, we will fight l'insécurité alimentaire, we will fight unemployment, and I am dedicated to doing this, and I want to take this opportunity to thank FAO again for standing by us. Thank you. After Isaac and Sandy, uh, we estimate that uh, approximately 40% of the harvest was lost. Uh, the damage were enormous. The top priority has been and will be uh, saving life, ensuring that the people have uh, a shelter since uh, over 30,000 uh, houses were destroyed. But then came immediately the need for saving the livelihood. The livelihood, which is uh, the only way uh, people can survive. And uh, for the people eat by Isaac and, uh, and Sandy, their livelihood is about agriculture, fisheries, livestock, at time forestry, very little. And uh, what we want to do is to make sure that we address the most immediate need. As I mentioned earlier, the uh, seed, the fertilizer, the tool for the planting season coming now. We'll use this uh, uh, limited uh, uh, funding received, which is already a good thing, for this purpose. And then we will look at uh, uh, response that not only address the immediate needs, but address the root cause of the problem, ensuring that the uh, farmers of IT can be better prepared for future uh, hurricanes that will come next year, working on rehabilitating these irrigation channels that have been destroyed, draining them, as the president mentioned, making sure also that the uh, watershed are, are uh, such that the flooding will be limited, also saving the livestock. If the people lose their livestock, they lose their capital, they lose uh, their survival capacity. So uh, what will we do? I think we need, together with you, to make a strong advocacy to ensure that resources are allocated urgently uh, to uh, support the farmers in the rural areas. We, estimate, we are estimating that uh, uh, the level of acute food insecurity in rural areas now is around 53%. 
If we don't intervene with the type of intervention that we have designed with the Ministry of Agriculture and the technical ministries in, uh, in IT, we are putting at threat the stability of the country. The farmers cannot wait. Thank you.